In this Python tutorial, we will make a desktop application with multiple windows. There are two buttons at the beginning. We can open login or sign up windows using buttons. For example, let's open the sign up window. When you enter the username and password and press the button, the entered values are displayed on the console screen. As in the other window, the entered values are displayed on the console screen when the button is pressed. We will do the project together again. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I transfer the library to the project. You can make the transfer using this code. I import the library. I will create the first window. I am creating a function. I'm calling the function. If there are no errors when I run the code, it means we were able to transfer the library successfully. Now let's create the first window by coding the function. I am creating a layout list. First, I just add the text object. I create a variable for the window. I send the title and layout list to the window function. I set the finale eyes option to true to keep the screen on all the time. I create an infinite while loop with true. I will use the event and values variables to capture the values in the window. I can do this using the read function. For example, when the X button is clicked, the event value becomes none. If it is none, I end the while loop with the break command. I created a window that only contains text. Now I add the login and sign up buttons to the layout list. I added the buttons to the window. They are currently dysfunctional. I define two functions for the login and sign up windows. If the event is login, I will call the login function. If it is sign up, I call the sign up function. In other words, when the login button is pressed, the login function will be called, and when the sign up function is pressed, the sign up function will be called. I add a print command to the functions to see if they call the functions. When you press the login button, the login function is called. But there is a problem with the sign up button. I should make the letter U lowercase. It needs to match the texts I defined when creating the buttons. I'm trying again. It calls functions on two buttons. First, let's create the window by coding the login function. I am creating a list for layout. I will only add a text object to the layout list. I create a variable for the window. 
I send the title, layout list, and finalize parameters to the window function. I'm creating an infinite while loop. I can access event and values by using the read function. If the X button is pressed, I end the while loop with the break command. Finally, I close the window with the close function. When I click on the login button, another window containing only text opens. I add an input object to the window. Input object has been added to the login window. I add the text and input object for the password. I don't want it to appear when I enter data into the password input object. By using the password char feature, we can display an asterisk instead of the entered value. An asterisk is displayed instead of the value I entered in the password input object. Finally, let's add the OK and Cancel buttons. OK and Cancel buttons have been added to the window. I define keys to access input objects. I will access the data in the input objects with the keys I define. I create a variable for the username. I can access data with the values variable. I create a variable for the password. I access the values entered into input objects using keywords. I will display the values entered in the input objects on the console screen with the print function. Let's try the project. After entering the username and password, the entered values are displayed on the console screen when you press the button. Now I will edit the sign up function. I can copy and paste. I enter username and password. When you press the button, the data is shown on the console screen. It works as I want in both windows. We will make examples of widgets in the next video. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.